This game is a work of fiction. It's author's imagination. It does not aim to offend, insult, or discriminate anyone on the religious, social, economic species or any other bias species. Any violation of the player's aesthetic sensitivities, active citizenship, or any other spirituality impulse lies on their conscience. Any resemblance to characters of your real or imaginary friends, neighbors, college, two tulips, two, is entirely coincidental. All the heroines are 18 years and older. Okay, that means there probably could be annuity then, is there? Oh, well, they have confirmed their consent in the game in written format. An exception from the screenwriter medical history can be provided on demand. They're fictional characters, whatever. The game doesn't uh, contain any propaganda or voluntary or not endings one life. What? Uh, not a single mascot, animal, or human was harmed during the game's creation. Happy reading. That's one way to intro a game. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Everlasting Summer. Uh, this is part of the 14 days of Valentine's Day I'm doing. I don't know if I have a title for this. A Taku Seek Woman. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so I've decided to do 14 days of various dating sims. I, I'm not going to do 14 uniforms. Anyways, let's see what the, this game's about. It appears to be a Russian dating sim. So let's see what this is all about. That's supposed to say Everlasting Summer, I believe. New game. I think I have a pin that actually looks like that somewhere. And I have no clue why I have a pin that looks like that. A gallery save game. Uh, let's do a new game. Dear Pioneer, you are on the verge of a wondrous discoveries. The door of your most wonderful place in camp. A wonderful camp in... Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay. New game. Yes. New Okay, I think I'm onto something here. There we go. We'll figure this out sometime. Just like we have to figure out love in our young age. Apparently we're over 18. They didn't say anything about the guy being over the age of 18 or the protagonist. I'm assuming he's uh, a guy. Mm -mm. What voice should I have? How about my own damn voice? I was having that dream once again. Okay, let me click the mouse over here. That dream where well, I have to change clothes after I wake up you know change my un what same thing every night but it's all forgotten in the morning is well if it's the same dream how do you know it's probably a, e a unique and beautiful dream each time where you fight secret agents in a cold war maybe it's for the best only a glimpse of memory will remain of gates half opened, panties sliding down. What? Uh, uh, as if inviting me somewhere. With two frozen stone pioneers standing close. And also, that strange girl who keeps asking me, Why are you staring at me? Um, ah, oh, here we go. So these are the Pioneer's Gate. Hey, look an owl. Will you come with me? Come? I'm already... Mm -mm. But where? And why? And where am I? In Colblick. No, it's Col... E Crook. Is that right? I don't know. Uh, where am I anyways? Of course, if it would all have happened in real life, I would have certainly been scared. This much is for sure. But this is just a dream. It's the same dream. The same one I see every night. Excuse me. I uh, also drink in my uh, dreams and I burp a lot. Anyways, that must be the reason. There must be a reason. You don't have to know where or why to realize something is really happening. Something desperate for my attention. Since everything that surrounds me here is real, as real as the things in my own flat, uh, if I could open the gates, hear the hinges creak, brush the crumbling, crumbling rust away with my hand, inhale 
the fresh cool air and shiver from the cold. I could, but to do that, I would need to pick myself up, make a step, and move my hand to go ever forward in my dream. Um, <clears throat> but this is a dream. I understand that, but what of it? What would change my understanding? Because here, it's just like the other side of a crackling screen, you know, all the lines here. Uh, old TV which struggles to fight against the static noise and strives to show its audience everything without missing a single detail. But this picture is it's getting blurry. I must be waking soon. Goodbye, mysterious gates. Maybe I should ask her something. The girl. Like, yeah, what's her name? About the star, for instance. Why the star, though? I'd rather ask about the gates. Yes, the gates. Should she be surprised? Or better, why... Or better, why dot over I, which calls the title, but dot over the J, a superscript dot... What? Am I missing something here? Eh, it must be. Nice letters. I'm pretty sure she has a nice pair of letters. Uh, if you ask enough, she might let you touch them. Uh, as if they don't exist anymore. Still, what do letters, gates, and stars have to do with this place? Because if every night I'm having this dream, which will be forgotten soon anyways, I've got to look for answers here and now. And there, if you look carefully, you can see the mage, mage, le, mage le, the clouds. You can see the clouds. Darn my limited English. As if I ended up in the southern hemisphere. Hey, Mr. Owl, can you tell me how to use the master sword? In a dream, there are small things that catch the most of your attention. Unnatural colors of grass, impossible curves of straight lines, or your own distorted reflection. Sorry, while the real danger, which could be put an end to everything right here and now, seems a trifle. It's unnatural, since here you, you know, you can't die. I know it for sure. I've done this hundreds of times. But, if you cannot die, is there a point in living? I should ask the girl. She's a local. She should know. The meaning of life? What? You <laughs> Start with the name. The first thing thought of. Before you ask her the meaning of life or to see her nice letters, first ask her her name. Yes, exactly. I should ask her about the owl, for example. Yes. The one with the uh, beady eyes that keep blinking. There you go. Uh, is this when I... No, oh, okay. I thought that was coincident. One strange bird it is. Though it doesn't really matter. Nothing really matters. Anyways. Ellipses. Will you come with me? And every time I have to answer. It's the only way. Otherwise, the dream will never end. And I will never wake up. Just think of the bed sores. No, I will stay here. Game over. Let's go. Yes, go with her. Let's see where this rabbit hole leads. Every time it's so hard to... Just... No, it wasn't actually. It was quite easy. Where am I? What am I doing here? Who is she? And why does so much in my life depend on this answer? Or maybe it doesn't. It's just a dream after all. You do have to realize this, but just a dream. Okay, so there we go. We're in a dream. We have every night, and I decide to go with her, and my keyboard doesn't look like that. That's because I have a Mac, and I need to get a one with the proper mouse over here. I mean, uh, numbers. All right, so keyboard, monitor... Uh, 4chan. Oops, sorry. 
At least we're not looking at porn. Ah, because the internet is for porn. Uh, it is in Russian. I do not understand. I do not understand why Kid Troll has sexy legs. Uh, the computer screen stared at me as if it was alive. I blinked. I blinked again. <laughs> Sometimes it really did seem to me that it was conscious of itself. It has its own thoughts and wishes. Ambitions! That it had feelings. Could love, could suffer. And I was putting it through agony by my nightly searches. The things my computer has seen. As if our relationship... Um, as if... In our relationship, the screen wasn't an instrument. It was me. Lifeless piece of plastic and uh, texolite. There is some truth in that. Probably because the computer provides 90% of my communications with the outside world. God, that's true. Anonymous image boards. Mm -hmm. Some chats from time to time. Rarely IQ and jabber. ICQ. And forms every even more rarely. Not to mention my failing YouTube channel. Oh, what? <laughs> People on the other end of the internet cable simply do not exist. Really? Huh? They are all simply creations of its creations of its sick imagination. An error in the source code. A uh, kernel bug. Cornell, which started. Living a life of its own. Well, that's one way to talk about computer virus. Excuse me. Then again, I'm pretty sure a lot of people call people on a website vile and viruses. Anyways, what? Hey. At least I got a house. If one looked at my existence from the outside, such thoughts would seem so mad. And a psychologist would surely give me a bunch of... S Psychotratic diagnosis. He diagnosed me and maybe write me a doctor's referral for an insane asylum. Referral to an asylum. To an asylum. Yeah, I guess that's right. I think it's not your existence, it's the wallpapers that's driving you mad. I mean, if you had to stare at that texture all day, I think it would cause a man a bit of insanity. A small apartment with no trace of repair or semblance of order in it. And always the same view out of the window. On the gray megalop megalopis running somewhere day and night. Such are the conditions of my life. Megalopis. Megalopis. City life. Let's say that. Well, of course, it didn't all start like this. I was born, went to school, and finished it, like the others. I was accepted to a university where I spent a year and a half trailing and struggling. I drifted through several jobs. Sometimes it was working out quite well, other times I wasn't even getting a decent amount of money for it. Oh, sometimes I was even getting a decent amount of money for it, excuse me, I'm always the negative Nancy here. but. It all feels like it was not mine, as if taken from another man's biography. Matter of fact, I uh, plagiarized a lot in college, so much so. Let's get, it wasn't living a life to its. It wasn't living life, living a life to its fullest. It was looping on and on in a monotonous cycles. Monotonous, as in that uh, Groundhog movie. Hmm. Whiskey was my only, excuse me, Russian. Vodka was my only companion. It's just I had no choice in how to spend my day. And every day repeated itself the same vicious spiral. Spiral of emptiness, misery, and despair. Okay, excuse me while I go cut my own wrist here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> For the last few years, I just sat in front of the screen all day. Sometimes there was men, uh, menial job. Sometimes my parents helped me. All in all, I was able to provide for myself. No wonder, really, since my needs were quite minor. 
I hardly leave the, my home and my communication with other people almost entirely consists of online correspondence with the anonymous uh, who have no real name, no gender, no age, and no dignity. Trust me, I've seen the internet. There's no dignity there. So, in brief, quite a typical... Really? Anyway, quite a typical life of a quiet and typical antisocial person of his time. Okay. Yes, it is quite typical of us antisocial. I'm looking in a mirror, damn it. Uh, kind of Donnie Darko on a minor scale without the doomsday related visions. Good, so you're not seeing a giant rabbit. Cool. Maybe some highly respected uh, director would make a movie about me and it would become a classic of a modern drama cinema. Or I will make it one myself. I have a camera. Anyways, however, what's the point of fooling myself? I tried many times, but couldn't ever come up with a simple script. S start out with the talking points, then work on the script. Major events, do a little story storyboards. That's what they teach us in film school. Storyboards, then work on the script. Or do you, well, you kind of need the script first? Anyways. I have also tried learning many other things. Not gifted enough to draw. True. Programming got bored. Eh, not got bored. I just never had teleport. It doesn't take too much time. I just never learned my first language. The only thing I loved doing was... Oh, sorry. I was thinking about what I do at night. Uh, weeding is what I do at night, of course. But I still... Still, I would never have called myself a scholar. Mainly because I'm also suffering from depression. Perhaps I was an ace in watching anime. Hell yeah. And grandmaster of the lame internet joke. Dear God, is there someone watching me? Alright, maybe a little bit too close to home. If I were to get paid for it, <laughs> I probably would be happier person and richer person too, but I doubt it would fill the hole inside me. Let's move on before I make the joke. Oh, that's actually a nice view. Today was another typical day of typical loser type of typical life. You said typical three times in that word in that sentence. And today, excuse me, I shouldn't bang my pole. Ha! Uh, and today is the day when I have to go to my university. Didn't you graduate it? Wait a minute, university has reunions? No, that's what, frankly speaking, I, I really did not want to. And what's the point? Time I spent there was with them was short. However, I got persuaded by a friend, my uh, former university mate, and the one of the few who I knew I kept in touch, who, who I, the few who I kept in touch with not only through the internet. So your old dorm roommate. By the way, I only had two roommates in college. Freshman year and one other time. Otherwise, I always had a room to myself. Because I am antisocial, that's for sure. Alright, so we are Batman hopping through the roofs or... Again, cold Mother Russia. Very cold. God, that's, I'm, that's what I'm glad here in Arizona. What is it? It's... 61 outside and it's actually raining so it's 73 inside man not too far off maybe if i grew a full beard hey what's this that looks familiar for some reason a frosty evening bus stop waiting car went by under my umbrella bus stop she says love love grows under my un sorry i got lost I never liked winter. Why the hell are you in Russia? Though hot summer is not my season either. Okay. Well, there you go. It's just I see no reason to point out any particular time of the year. It doesn't matter much what weather it is outside since you spend 24-7 at home. There you go. So you can live anywhere. And as long as it has a good internet connection. The bus stop today was running so late that I was about to curse it all and spend the last few hundred ruples for a taxi. The idea of returning home didn't cross my mind for some reason. 
As usual, millions of thoughts flew of my mind, but there was not a single useful one to seize. Excuse me. Such thought that you could bring to existence, give it shape and turn it into an idea and put it into practice. Maybe I could start my own business. What, a think tank? Eh, people's got rich off it. But where would I get the money from? Kickstarter. No. Organ trade. Or maybe I could go back to working in an office. Eh? Mm -hmm. Meet other people. Nah, no way. Maybe I should try freelancing. Hey, there you go. Can't go with freelancer. Some of my best friends are freelancers. But what skills do I have? Who needs me after all? You could be a phone operator in a... Oh, sorry. I suddenly remembered my childhood. And it's probably going to be depressing. Which, by the way, meant... What do you call it? Uh, emotional relativity or whatever. Anyways, whatever emotion you are feeling currently, you connect more easily to that... Memories associated with that feeling. You're feeling depressed. You will remember more depressing things. You happy. You will easily remember more happy things, etc., etc. Remember that next time. You can only remember bad things that happened in your childhood, or rather, teen years. The time I was 15 to 17 years old. Why exactly those years? <clears throat> because you're a guy, and they were fantastic. Anyways, what? No idea. I guess it's because back then everything was so much simpler. It was easier to make decisions. So complicated now and so simple then. Uh, not true, but whatever. Waking up in the morning, I knew exactly how my day was going to pass. And I was always eagerly looking forward to the weekend. Everybody's work. Anyways, uh, then I could get some rest and have some time for things I liked. Computer, football, going out with friends, drinking till I blacked out. That last one might just be me. And then, at the beginning of the next week, I take up the studies again. Back then, there was no such worrying questions as to why, who needs it, what will, cha what will change if I do it and do it good, what will not change. A simple live stream, so casual. For any normal person, and so odd to myself today. Careless childhood age. It was also then that I met my first love. Her appearance and character have vanished from my memory. Only her name remains, like a brief line from a social network program profile, all along with the feelings which overwhelm me when I was with her. Affection, tenderness, desire to care for her. Oh, desire to care for her. Sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just desire. Since you were a teenager and for her and to protect her. Sadly, it didn't last long. Hey, now. That's what she said. Today, I can hardly imagine something like that happening. I would probably like to meet a girl, but I don't know how, ah, God, this is true. I don't know how to start a conversation. What on earth to discuss and how to attract her? I used to have hair, I tell you. I was once a handsome young man with a whole world in front of me. Uh, sorry, that's not, I'm pretty sure that was written there and that wasn't just me admitting things. Mm. Did I mention I have nice whiskey here? Well, I haven't met a suitable girl for a long time because you don't leave the house. Dear God, say that to yourself. Mm. But where could I meet one? Outside? And hits you in the car. There you go. You love your life. Just hit you with... Anyways. The sound of an engine working brought me t back to reality. A bus pulled over. There is something abnormal about it, I thought. Then again, doesn't matter. Only the 410 runs this route. Nice artwork, by the way. If I haven't said it, I do like the just this 
nice. Uh, again, I don't know what to call it, but it's very nice art style. It's a DeLorean. You're going to see some serious shit when this hits 88. Anyways, street lights passing by me. It's as if their cold lights sparkled inside me, trying to light up feelings long dead. Mm hmm. Feelings long dead. Anyways, trying to see what else there is there. Eh, again, I'm liking the art stuff. Or maybe I'm just looking at the boobs on the window. Or maybe not sparks, just weakens them. Excuse me, because those feelings, they have been living in me for a long time. Calling down and waking up again. The driver's radio was playing something, some very familiar tune. But I, I wasn't listening to it, just kind of background noise. I was watching the cars pass by through the fogged up window. Because people are always rushing somewhere, chasing something they need, stuck in their own little worlds, says the man who's stuck in his. Why would they care about mine? Why do you care about this? You don't care about theirs. Or why? Uh, never mind. They probably have their own serious problems, or maybe they just much easier lives. You can't know for sure, since all people are different. Or are they? They're all clones! No, Sometimes someone's actions can easily be predicted, but if you try to look inside his soul, you'll only see impenetrable darkness. Must be emo. I must be emo. I talk in ellipses. Hey, I must be emo. Anyways, the bus was approaching downtown, and my thoughts were interrupted by the bright city lights. Hundreds of ad boards, thousands of cars, millions of people. I was watching the light show and somehow I got terribly sleepy. Not the first person to fall asleep on the bus, trust me. My eyes closed just for a moment and then and then I was stuck in an intro. Nice. <laughs> so here we go. I guess that was kind of the prologue, wasn't it? Sorry. Trying to... Hmm. <laughs> so, here's the intro of the game, I guess. We can't see the bus driver, but we can see the lovely blonde with the blue eyes sitting next to us. As we mount her already. Her name is Carol, maybe? The... Athletic, maybe? Anina? No, she's the athletic type. Is she the shy type then? Yeah, she's the... Oh, what's the term I'm looking for? The strong, not strong, forward type. Hey, now. Striped underwear. Yay! Mookie! And cat ears? We have cat ears. Well, there's more than one type of pussy in this game. Hey, now! I am completely sorry to the creators of this game. I've already made how many sexual jokes just in the prologue. 